Georgie and Mandy's First Marriage, the anticipated spin-off succeeding Young Sheldon, promises a comedic journey, albeit with some noticeable absences from the original series. Connie Tucker, famously known as a Mima, stands out as a character whose presence is sorely missed in the spin-off's narrative. As the glue that held Georgie and Mandy together during tumultuous times, Connie's role is crucial in bridging the story gaps left by young Sheldon. Connie's character evolution from a seemingly careless grandmother to a pillar of support for Georgie and Mandy showcases her depth and comedic charm. Her influence on the young couple's relationship, from initial skepticism to unconditional support, adds layers to the storyline. Notably, her absence in the spin-off's initial setup raises questions about the dynamics of Georgie and Mandy's new chapter without her guidance. Moreover, the unresolved fate of Mima and Dale post-young Sheldon finale leaves viewers curious about their future. Despite hints from The Big Bang Theory, the spin-off's focus on Georgie and Mandy's journey hints at potential guest appearances rather than integral roles for these beloved characters. As fans eagerly anticipate Georgie and Mandy's first marriage, Connie's absence leaves a noticeable void, prompting speculation about potential character arcs and guest appearances from familiar faces. Whether Mima and Dale's story finds closure in the spin-off remains to be seen, but their influence on Georgie and Mandy's lives is undeniable, making their presence in the new series highly anticipated. Welcome to Young Sheldon Update, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of Young Sheldon Update, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. This one character is essential to the Young Sheldon spin-off. Though it lacks a few Young Sheldon characters, Georgie and Mandy's first marriage is well on its way to being CBS next big comedy success. Connie Tucker is one character in particular that ought to be at the forefront of the Young Sheldon spin-off. Connie would bridge some of the story gaps left by young Sheldon in Georgie and Mandy's lives. After the seventh and final season of Young Sheldon concluded, viewers had to bid farewell to a number of the characters they had come to love. The Cooper's family dynamic would never be the same when George Cooper passed away and Sheldon Cooper moved to California to pursue doctorate studies. Connie Tucker is another character who will be much missed if she doesn't make a reappearance for the spin-off Georgie and Mandy's first marriage. In the first season, Connie, also known as Amima, was intended as the Cooper children's rather careless grandmother, nevertheless, young Sheldon transformed her into the funniest and most genuine character on the show. At the end of the day, she always had her family's best interests in mind, even though she occasionally expressed brutal honesty. Georgie Cooper's then-girlfriend Mandy McAllister was quick to chastise him for getting her pregnant, but she also assisted him and Mandy in getting ready for their kid. It seems strange that she won't be a major figure in Georgie and Mandy's first marriage because she was the glue that kept Georgie and Mandy together during their darkest days. Georgie and Mandy were instigated together by Connie. Connie wasn't a fan of Georgie and Mandy when they first started dating. Since Georgie is 11 years younger than Mandy, she didn't appreciate that he had lied to her about his age, and when Mandy found out the truth, Connie gave her a lot of, I told you so, s. But in the end, Georgie just wanted to do the right thing, so she always stood right behind him when things got tough. She was supportive when he dropped out of high school, but she also corrected him harshly for his newfound freedom. She hired him to work in her gaming room and trusted him not to tell anyone that the operation was illegal. It was expected that she would support him in spite of the unexpected pregnancy. Connie actually began to like Mandy more than Georgie in the end. During a difficult time, Connie assisted Mandy in adjusting to life with the Cooper family and provided Mandy with assistance when her parents were unable to. Connie felt compelled to intervene after connecting Mandy's predicament to her own experience of Mary's unplanned pregnancy. In addition to paying Mandy's medical bills and providing a job and a room to sleep in, she also drove her to doctor's visits. 
Every time Georgie acted like a child too big for his britches, Connie would apologize, but she would also subtly defend her grandson in the process. It was because of Connie's encouragement to Georgie and Mandy that their daughter Constance was given her name. Connie's character would suffer if her influence on Georgie and Mandy's relationship were overlooked. It will be strange if she isn't a regular in Georgie and Mandy's lives as they will still be living in the same town in the spin-off. It's been said about Medford, Texas, that it's a little town where everyone knows everyone else. How can Connie be completely disregarded? Although it wouldn't be unwelcome if she was, bringing her back for the spin-off doesn't imply she has to be the primary character like she was in Young Sheldon. All it takes is to give her a side story in which she periodically visits her great-granddaughter and grandson. Connie is not the kind to desert the Cooper household. She once pleaded with her son-in-law not to accept a job offer from Oklahoma in order to be near her daughter and grandchildren. More nefarious side missions are needed for Connie and Georgie. Falling back into Georgie's illegal habits would undoubtedly liven up Georgie and Mandy's first marriage. Following his high school dropout, he and Connie operated an illicit gaming den behind the town's laundromat. In the later seasons of Young Sheldon, the most hilarious sequences had Georgie and Connie teasing one other about how to run the company or having near misses with the law. Young Sheldon gained an advantage from the whole gambling room plotline, which also increased the stakes for Georgie and Connie. Georgie had his whole life ahead of him, and if he had been arrested, it could have been taken from him in an instant. Connie felt as like all the pleasure had been taken out of her life after her last run-in with the law, which allowed her to put her criminal past behind her. Based on Georgie's projected role as a lawful tire shop owner on the Big Bang Theory, it appears that he will follow in his father-in-law's footsteps and launch his own spin-off. However, if Connie is included, there might be a conflict of interest. Which would Georgie prefer, Connie's hazardous and straightforward path or the safe but difficult one that his father-in-law supports? Growing as a husband and father will require Georgie to face an intriguing challenge, his commitment to his in-laws versus his own family. Connie's character change still needs an explanation. Though it provides room for others, the young Sheldon finale closes the door on the futures of many characters. One such character is Connie, whose final destination is described by adult Sheldon without specific mention. But the Big Bang Theory does. Connie is much older in the Big Bang Theory, she's in her 90s. She's strict, traditional, and, quite honestly, not averse to voicing her disdain. Sheldon always thought highly of his grandmother as a fantastic cook during the first season of the show, and she gave him the nickname Moon Pea. Because of how clean his recollection of her is, he never thought she would have sex to become pregnant with his mother. It's clear that young Sheldon's portrayal of Connie differs greatly from that of the Big Bang Theory. It would never occur to the elder Connie to run a casino or smuggle cigarettes out of Mexico with her grandson. She would laugh at the notion and condemn anyone who dared to live dangerously. In season 11 of The Big Bang Theory, Connie's absence from Sheldon's wedding was partly due to her dramatic character transformation. The creators of both programs were concerned that viewers would become confused by the two incarnations of Connie because young Sheldon debuted just after later seasons of The Big Bang Theory. As the last season of Young Sheldon approached, fans anticipated that the show's conclusion would explain, if nothing else, why Connie abandoned her spirit. Even if she could do that by losing her house, becoming reliant on Dale, and getting incarcerated, her mediocre resolution wasn't fulfilling enough. Despite young Sheldon's great ratings, Annie Potts, who plays Connie, has been outspokenly unhappy of the finale. Presumably, it wouldn't be hard to resurrect her as the lively grandmother who doesn't mind taking on a big wager. If Georgie and Mandy's first marriage continued her story, it would provide insight into how Connie became into a considerably harsher and more conventional grandma in Sheldon's childhood. Perhaps she had a falling out with Georgie over business matters, 
or perhaps her relationship with Dale had soured at some point. Alternatively, as the young Sheldon ending implies, Connie was unable to deal with her daughter's reliance on religion following George's passing. It's possible that Connie felt inadequate as a mother, but if she isn't brought back for Georgie and Mandy's first marriage, it's impossible to tell for sure. You can watch Young Sheldon on Netflix, Max, and Paramount+. Plus. It is anticipated that Georgie and Mandy's first marriage will debut on CBS in the fall of 2024. In Big Bang Theory, Mima and Dale's destiny after Young Sheldon's demise was already hinted at. Mima and Dale's future is uncertain in the Young Sheldon finale as George's passing takes center stage. But as Connie mentioned during her appearance on The Big Bang Theory, Mima and Dale might be getting married after Young Sheldon. The ideal sitcom to bring back Mima and will take Young Sheldon's place is the spin off Georgie and Mandy's first marriage. Though The Big Bang Theory has alluded to Dale and Mima's future, the young Sheldon conclusion leaves their status undetermined. The first part of the season finale is dominated by George's passing and its aftermath, as the Cooper family struggles to come to terms with their father's untimely death. Though they may not have been blood relatives of Sheldon's father, Mima and Dale nevertheless felt a connection to the extended family, and each handled their loss in a different way. The family is fortunate to have the couple supporting them during the entire situation, with Mary being erratic and Georgie trying his hardest. Mima and Dale, however, have separate stories aside from their relationships to the core Cooper family. This is an example of how young Sheldon is branching out its storytelling by providing each of its main characters an own tale instead of only focusing on Sheldon. Although Connie's romantic life has always been a part of the backstory, she hasn't been in a committed relationship since her endearing but short-lived liaison with Dr. Sturgis. But young Sheldon decided to stick with Dale through the end of the show after reigniting their romance. It does not, however, provide any insight into what is ahead of them. The young Sheldon finale's final half-hour is so focused on Sheldon's move to California that it is unable to properly send off the other characters due to screen time constraints. Not even the final, goodbye, to his family is depicted on TV for the child prodigy. The final detail concerning Mima and Dale that was disclosed was that they are still living together and there is no sign that this will change very soon. Nevertheless, when Mima paid Sheldon a visit in Pasadena for the first and last time, the Big Bang Theory hinted at what might come next for the marriage. This suggests that Connie and Dale will marry after young Sheldon. During her chat with Amy, June Squibb's Mima mentioned that she knew how to live with a stubborn, egotistical man, then you're wrong, cause that was my husband. This suggests that Connie and Dale will marry after young Sheldon. Granted that Mima was previously married, it would seem unlikely for her not to just simply name-drop Sheldon's pop-pop if she were referring to him. Tying the knot would also make her and Dale's lives easier since they are bound by law. In any case, they are already living with each other, and Mima once confesses that she loves him. Annie Potts has been vocal about her criticisms about young Sheldon's cancellation. It's worth noting that the franchise isn't totally going away with the end of the prequel, however, since Georgie and Mandy's spin-off titled Georgie and Mandy's First Marriage will take over its spot come the 2024-2025 TV season. Aside from its lead stars, no other young Sheldon core cast is confirmed to be involved, but Mima and Dale are best positioned to at least make a guest appearance. Both were very helpful to the couple when they first learned that they were unexpectedly pregnant. Mima even opened up her house for Mandy after she was kicked out by her parents, not to mention that baby Cece is named after Georgie's maternal grandmother. It would be odd not to acknowledge that in Georgie and Mandy's first marriage, since it will also be set in Medford, and take place just a couple of months after the events of young Sheldon. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Young Sheldon Update, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.